Hi everyone, it's Will here and I just wanted to record a quick video about how do we monitor our activities and what's going on in Fabric Notebooks, Data Engineering, Data Science Experiences. So in general, how do we monitor Spark in Microsoft Fabric? And there's a few different ways that we can do this. So today I'm going to be going through two of the different options. There's probably a lot more, but two of the main options at least to understand what's going on to keep track of all of your different Spark jobs, notebooks, all this good stuff. So let's dive into it. So the first place we go to monitor anything really that's going on in Fabric, including our notebooks and our Spark jobs and all of that good stuff is in the monitoring hub. Now the monitoring hub is not specific to Spark. It sits across all of Fabric. So you can see the status of basically anything that runs in Fabric whether it's data flow, data pipeline, a notebook, a machine learning job, anything basically. So this is going to be a really good kind of first port of call for understanding, you know, the status of different things that are running in your organization or in your workspace. And so what we can do is you've probably seen it already. It's in the left hand toolbar. You can click on this monitoring hub and we can begin to see all of the activities that are running in your tenant or everything you have access to, right? So we can see the type, the item type, the status of it. So here we've got a notebook, data pipeline run, a notebook, data pipeline run. Up here, we've got some other things like uh, data set creation, notebooks are currently running, all that sort of stuff. You can see the location, so the workspace, where's it living? Who is it that's doing that job? So at the moment, that's me and also the start time. So we can filter this list here and we might want to look at only things that have failed in the past. So here we're going to be looking at, OK, on this date, on 13th of September, some of these data pipelines failed. So we can have a look at these in a bit more detail, maybe you can retry it. And if you click on the, the detail here, you can begin to understand you get to look at the error messages, understand where it went wrong, make sure it doesn't happen again. So that's the first thing, the monitoring hub. Now it's fairly basic. You can just get a bit of a high level overview of what in Fabric has run in the past and what it's currently running and the status of each. So another place we can go to monitor what's going on in our Spark jobs and our Spark notebooks is in the Microsoft Fabric capacity metrics workspace. Now, if you haven't installed this already, what you have to do is download this. It's an app on AppSource and I'll leave a link in the description below, but it basically sets up a bit of a default data set and report and you point it to your, your fabric capacity and you get all of these metrics available to us. And these are metrics are a bit more useful than what you get in the monitoring hub because it starts to give us visibility of capacity units. So we can see, okay, this, data pipeline, every time it runs, it consumes 1000 capacity units, for example. Every time I train this machine learning model, it uses 10,000 capacity units. And capacity units roughly can be translated into cost, right? So we get a really fine grained detail into what our infrastructure is costing us. So if I just wait for this to load, Okay, so what I've done is I've told it what my capacity ID is. So here, if we just select this trial capacity that I'm currently using, then it should update these visuals to show all of my capacity metrics. Okay, so here we go. So now it's loaded in my fabric capacity, the trial capacity that I'm using, and we've got a number of different things that we can look at to understand how many capacity units each item in our fabric workspace or in our fabric capacity, how much it's using up. Okay, so at the top, you've got a multi-metric ribbon chart. So you can see which experiences or which items are using the most resource. So for me, a lot of it is lake house operations, but probably the most useful chart is this one along the bottom. So we can see which notebooks are consuming the most capacity units, right? So for me, it's the Spark ML machine learning project, which is not very surprising. That's the most computationally expensive notebook that I'm doing, which kind of makes sense, right? Or at least in the last 
30 days. And from this, you can see that it's, it's using up 100,000 capacity units, right? So for all the time that I've been running that notebook, it's used 100,000 capacity units, which is more than half of the total capacity units that I've used in this period. So that's useful to know, right? And if you hover over, then you get a little bit more information about the duration. And we can see that it's a notebook run and there's one user, which is me, and the duration that that notebook was running for. So that's very interesting data because we can begin to optimize kind of our notebooks so that it's using less capacity units. Because if you're on a very limited budget, maybe you're only using F2, which is the lowest paid level of fabric, then you don't have many capacity units to use up, right? So you have to be very efficient in how you use these capacity units, and this is how you see how to do that. So if you want to use this fabric capacity metrics dashboard, then you need to go to this location here, which is in App Source. I'll put the link in the description below. Just click on Get Now, and it installs it in your fabric tenant. 